This is Dr. Martin's supplemental lecture on chapter 25, uh, section 3. We were talking about, excuse me, the bony fish. I uh, talked about some general characteristics. I'd also like to point out uh, the figure on page uh, 549. There's a figure of uh, the internal anatomy of the fish and this is figure 25-10. And I do want you to, I think I've already mentioned this, but I do want you to um, be able to identify uh, some of those structures or all of those structures that are there. Okay, we were talking about characteristics, general characteristics of the bony fish. Uh, what I'd like to do now is to talk about some of the groups that are included in the bony fish. And again, I'm not going to use the uh, technical terms. Um, so we've got three groups. And they are, uh, as I mentioned, I think before, um, the ray finned fish which are most of the fish that you're familiar with. Um, these are named because of the uh, dorsal fin that is supported by bony spines or rays, if you will. Uh, this group the air sac acts as a swim bladder, as we've talked about uh, before. And the figure 25-10 is actually um, the anatomy for this group. The other two groups are uh, smaller groups. Um, by far, this is the largest. The next group is called the oops, lobed finned fish and these guys have muscular uh, fins pectoral and pelvic and they might have lived in uh, shallow water and used their fins to maybe um, move from puddle to puddle, so to speak. Uh, the last group is the lungfish. And this is actually a group that has significance for us. Um, the ancestor of the tetrapods um, may have shared an ancestor with this group, with the lungfish. The reason they're called lungfish is that the uh, air sacs are actually divided into two and they act as lungs. So the, these fish have gills, um, but they also use their air sacs to extract um, ox uh, oxygen from the water. Um, and I say that because the air sacs are very um, vascular in these fish. In other words, there's a lot of capillary beds uh, around the uh, these two air sacs. And so that's um, a prelude, so to speak, to uh, two lungs. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention in the low fin fish, these are mostly extinct, but there is, you might have heard of this fish, uh, there is one living species, and that's a coelacanth. And I'll finish here.